Yeah, the software will, will be teaching you that bit. Now see blood, blood. Okay. Up to that point, either technician or engineering, you have to know the software anyway. Okay. In the past, they're using the software, but the software that like the basic or the path count or the four track. You know, everywhere they're using the software at this time. However, from 1990, on most software they're using will be C, C plus plus. No more hot cow or basic or for draft. Okay. What I try to help you get a very, very basic for this software, C plus plus. Okay. In here, you better spend the time to read the handout. The thing is the handout will cover everything. Basically, whoever wants to learn about this software, you have to get reading over, over, and over. In the part software, they can tell you a lot of things here. Okay. Part DLC basic for trade. Similar language, a procedural language. That the each statement in the language tell the computer to do something. That means you want the computer to do something for you. You have to use in the software. Okay, but this software in the past, a program in the procedural language is a list of instruction. Okay, the programmer create a list of instruction and the computer carry them out. The procedural language, the emphasis is on doing things, for example, read the keyboard, or invert the vector, check the error, and so on. Okay? That data under value. Data is difficult to handle, and data is easily to corrupt. Okay? I think you get a memory limited. Now, the object oriented approach. The fundamental idea behind object-oriented language is to combine into a single unit both data and function that operate on that data. That's a unit equal an object. Okay, basically the object will be combined. Okay, the function and the data. I given you a very simple example. When you go into your ATM, okay, you want to deposit the money, okay, or you want to withdraw your money. So H1 will be get a function, okay? For example, a function you want to withdraw money. 
then when you click on the withdraw, that will be asking you how much you will be withdraw. Maybe you enter a hundred dollars. So now, see what happened. In the program, they get a function. Get what they're talking about withdraw. Okay? When you enter the money, they go into your account to see how much you get. If you get less than a hundred, that just means they're carrying you. You can, they cannot. However, if you get more than that, okay, then they will be given money to you. And also they can do next thing is they will be subtract the money you withdraw from your account. That is a function try to do it. And the money, that is the data. So both have to be working together, okay? When you go into Thank You, you can learn one more thing. That means we're talking about the function, okay? But it's not in Thank You. An object function called a member function in C++. Typical provide only way to access its data. That means you want to access into your account. You can enter, you want withdraw, you want deposit, whatever you want. They have to get it into the function. Cannot access data directly. That means just telling you, you cannot get your data, your money directly from your account, okay? They get a function to take care of that. The data is hidden, okay? Normally, you cannot see your money until, you know, they get a function, that function telling you. A data and each function are said to be encapsulated. That's what you need to know. What that means for encapsulated into a single entity. Data encapsulation and the data hiding are key terms in the description of object-oriented language. In C++, program typical consists of number of objects which communicate with the each other by calling one another's member function. Data items are referred to as instant variable. Calling an object member function is referred to as sending a message to the object in, o in OOP. Objects are member of the class, class is a collection of similar objects. That means class will be when if you want to learn more about C++, that means you have, will be get a chapter talking about the class. The idea of class leading to the idea of inheritance. OOP class can be divided into subclasses. The original class is called base class, and the subclass are called derived classes. We don't care about that. That goes to the detail. Now, see the flow diagram here. Try to understand. What's going on? When you start it, that means you go to do edit your program. Okay? We're telling you when we go to exercise. Okay? Edit your program, that means you type in your program. 
And after that, then you have to compile. That means make sure they meet the requirement for C++. Well, after you compile, it is just a compile errors. If you get an error, that means something must be wrong. Okay? If something must be wrong, compile error, yes or no? If yes, you get a, a problem. What you have to do? Go back your program and fix that. Okay? And compile again until you get no error. That, that's not how to do, okay? And after no error, then you can actually execute your program, okay? If no problem, that means you'll be done. That is uh, normally for everyone learning the software will be doing the same way. Either Pascal or basic or for trend, okay? They have to do the same way. Like the C++. The next will be review ability. Every C++ program have a main function, okay? This is the main, and you see the open and the close. That a function, okay? And when you start it, you start with the main. A function is a block of code that perform one or more actions. Usually, functions are invoked or called by the other function. The main function is special. When your program start, man is called automatically. That means when you start your program, okay, everything will be inside the man. That automatically they run. Comments. Comments are simply like that we ignore by the compiler. You understand what that means? That means when you want to do something, writing in your program, in that you get some explanation telling what you are doing. That is that what we're talking about, comments, okay? On the computer, on the program, we will need the com comments. So the other people, when they're reading the program, they know what's going on, okay? But that may inform the reader of what you are doing at any particular point in your program. Like we are engineering, we developed a program to tap the circuitry. So basically everything we try to do, we have to put a comment what I'm going to do, okay? For some reason, if I quit, I'm no longer working on that. The other people take over, they need that. They read the comment, they know what you are doing and they can be continuing, okay? So that's why if you're working for the government, the requirement is everything you do, you have to tell them what you are doing, okay? That's what we're talking about, comments. Now, how uh -huh. we know or how the computer know Data comments. The double slot, slot and slot. For example, you see that slot and slot, then you say, This is my fourth C plus plus program. So the computer 
when they see that slot and slot, they know that is the comments. They ignore. They don't care what in here. Okay. Or you can use in another way. A start slot. Slot. Okay. And you see that. And you can write down anything in here. And you have to start and slot. For example. This is my first C++ program. So now, if you see the two ways to put the comments, what the difference between the first one and the second one? Uh, the, one? the difference is that the first one, the double slash, is a single line comment. Uh, so only one line will be commented if you try to write on another line below it. It'll treat it as regular code, as opposed to the star slash method. Anything in between the star slashes will be considered a comment. Perfect. You know, the first one just a single comment. Okay. If you get another comment on the next line, you have to get the slap and slap again. Another word, you get the Stuck, a slot here stuck. This is a long comment. You want to write too many things inside. Okay. Finally, you have to get a stuck and slot. That'd be okay. They're telling you a single line comments or more lines. In general, function. Function is one of the fundamental of the blood blood program. Okay, it can be part of the class in which case we call a member function it can be independent from the class. A C blood blood program must have one function that is the man. Okay. The parentheses open close following the word man are the distinguished feature of the function. The first statement, the execute will be at the beginning of the man function every time running a program in C++. Program statement is the fundamental unit of C++ programming. A statement must be end with the so my column. Okay? For the statement in the program, okay, it lies normally they must be end with the so my column here. Okay? Why spec ignore in C++ programming? Okay, I can give you an example here. You get C. A adding B. That have to be A for the statement. Now, before C++, you have to do exactly However, for C++, they say why spec ignoring. That means you can say C here, you can get a spec here, spec here doesn't matter. You can put A here. And if you get more spec here, okay, you can add it. B. That'd be fine. That's a very good one, okay? They don't have to be exactly like this one. That's why they say, why spec ignore in C++ blood, blood program? String constant surrounded by a quotation mark, okay? This means you get a quotation mark here. Open, open, 
you can type in any tape inside. Okay. For example. Okay. Hello. The blood, blood, for example. And you go here. Okay, no big deal. Cannot be given new value while the programming running. That means whatever you put in a double quote, they just bring it out. Display that. Okay. We processor directly. Okay. Start with the, the sign. Okay. And end with thou so my column. This is just a syntax error, okay? Telling you, you must follow that when you type it, okay? Example, in loop, whatever, io stream dot add, no my column. Instruction to the compiler itself. Okay, in loop directly. Tell the compiler to insert another file into your short file. Okay. Let's see how much you understand. The thing that when you write a program, they are asking a lot of pain. And the IO stream dot add, that means the program somewhere else. But they will be have the computer to understand what you typing in. And in order to do it, they have to use include. Okay. That they tell the compiler to insert another file into your source file. Even you didn't see it. Add the file. IO stream dot add a one of the header file. Comment. Comment start with a double slash. Okay, we already talking about that. Either one. Okay, that will be a comment. Decoration and definition. A decoration introduce a variable names into the program and spec specify is type okay for example if you want to say i equal three you can add in four now You have to tell what I. Otherwise, the computer don't know. That's what they're talking about, decoration. Okay? Decoration into the variable names into the program and specify its type. So before you can say I equal three plus four, you have to say I am T, mean integer, I. Later on, when you're learning a type, then you can say they can get a different type. They can be integer, okay? They can be a float. They can be a double. That means a different type, depending on what you're using, okay? Variable names. For the name, the own upper low, upper K or lower K letter, no big deal. You can say integer I or you can say integer J. Integer J. Let me find. They don't care. Okay? Upper or lower. Digit from one to nine and a underscore, okay? That will be for variable name. The first character must be a letter. Must be a letter. 
okay? For example, I want to store for my my age. So I have to say, for example, integer my age. Okay. The first letter must be the first one must be a letter. My M I. Okay, that's what they say. First character must be a letter. As long as the design maximum is 32 character. Okay, so basically that depends on the computer. The computer now, okay, 32 bit for the data, okay, so that's why. You can go up to 32. Cannot use the keyword. Okay. Keyword is identified for a language feature. Okay. That means later on, they get some words using in the computer. You cannot use that for the variable. Assignment statement, that means equal. Example, VAR1. VAR1 means variable, equal 20. The equal sign in a row, example, cost value on the right to be assigned to the variable on the left. When you say VAR1 equal 20, that means if you're looking into the variable VAR1, you can get number 20, okay? Integer constant. The number 20 is an integer constant. The in no decimal point in the integer. You know the number will be Integer, that means 20 will be integer. But 20.5, that's not integer. Decimal, okay? Output variation. See out. That means you want to display. Bring it out. Okay? There you go, that arrow here. Very, the value of variable. Now, if you know that inside the double quote here, anything in here cannot be changed, they will be displayed out. Okay? And they insert for VAR1. That means this is a variable. They not display VAR1, but they will be displayed the content inside this variable, okay? The above example will display the value of the uh, one. Character variable, keyword CHAR. They will be occupied only one byte of memory. Okay, when you're learning in Tech 2, you understand uh, in the computer they get only two things, either one or zero. Okay, computer cannot understand anything else. They just understand one or zero. Okay, and one by that means eight bit, okay? You know, in the computer, they can get one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Each one, they call one bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bit. 
Now in your computer now, how many bit? I'm talking about a computer we're using there. Can you talk about the 64-bit operating system? Yeah, Windows 10. I'm talking about com your computer using Windows 10. Yeah. How many bit? 64 right now. Exactly. 64 bit. Okay. So if you counting, you can count up to 64 bit. And instead, they say 8 bit. They not say 8 bit. They say 1, one byte. Then you have to understand that will be 8 bit. Character constant. This one, now I just go through for you guys to reading, okay, understand any the basic. Character constant is single quotation mark around a character, for example. That's a single, okay, quotation. A, that's a character constant will be stored at the decimal in a SCII. You know, that I think American standard, okay? If you go into the Google on the web, typing A F C I I, they gave you a table. A table telling you, for example, letter A. Then you can see, they can say, okay, one, zero, one, one, zero, one. Zero, zero. That means you get an eight bit here. Stand for letter A. One of the computer must be following this rule. Human deal with the character, not binary. When you type in, in your keyboard, letter A. And your keyboard will be converting into the binary using the SCII. Okay. So that has to be happen for any computer. The thing is, the keyboard can be using for any computer. Initialization. Variable can be initialized at the same time they are defined. What that means? They're telling you if you want to get the variable to store any value, then you can say integer i. Okay. Later on, you can say I equal whatever. Now, they also telling you if you say integer I and you want it to be equal five at the beginning, no big deal. Okay. That what variable can be initialized at the same time they define. This is you define variable. This is you define also you want that i to be equal to five. No big deal. Add cap sequence and add cap character can the meaning of character that following follow it. For example, and a yeah, letter. And, but last and is yeah, a new line, okay? So that one given to you. The character slap and, that means you want to get a new line. A slap B, you get a tab, slap B, backspace, and so on, okay? 
variable. Variable is yeah, location in your computer's memory in which you can store a value and from which later you can retrieve it, that value, okay? For example, integer i equal five, later on, if you want to see what in i, they will be given to you number five, okay? Fundamental variable type. Now you can get unsigned short integer. They will be two bars, okay? And they going from zero to 65,535. Short integer, two bytes, okay? Unsigned long integer, okay, four bytes, okay? Long integer, four bytes, or integer, you can get 16 bits, or you can get 32 bits, you know, the new computer. That means computer we're using now, that will be 32 bit. Character, one byte. Load four byte, double eight byte. Just telling you how big in the memory they can contain the number, okay? For example, Short integer, two bytes, okay? The number can go in from minus 32,000 up to plus 32,000. I given you an example. If you say something you want to store the number, you have to define integer, okay? Yeah. That will be short integer, okay? And later on you say J equal, okay? 40,000. And now you get a problem. Why? The thing is, short integer to buy, they can contain any number from minus 32,000 up to 32,000. And you get 40,000 hour over, okay? So that's an error. But normally you don't care much about that thing, okay? That's just telling you, you know, how big in the memory they can store the value, okay? You can see unsigned long integer, they give you up to four bytes. That means just make it bigger. Okay, sensitivity, C plus plus E, Okay, sensitive. Upper K, lower K, letter are considered to be different. Okay, now I give you an example. I say integer A. And later on, I say A equal 20. Now you get a problem. The thing is capital A and the lower letter A different, okay? If you say capital, that be fine. Otherwise, you get an error. That will be helping for the people who want to develop the program, okay? When you compile, they telling you the error, okay? When you're looking into the error, you know what's going on. You're able to fix it. 
Antigua. Some was are reserved by the Prabhupada and may not be you at variable names. For example, if statement while for a man, that's a key word you, you can say in the year four, no, cannot. That's a key word. Type, key word. Type, key word. Type, unsigned short integer. Ill short. Create a new name, ill short. That can be ill anywhere to substitute for unsigned short integer. That only thing is, unsigned short integer here is too many letters. They don't want. You can use an ill short substitute for that. Constant qualifier. Specify, specify the value of variable will not change through the program. For example, constant unsigned short integer VAR, VAL equal 50. That means every time you're using VAL, they know the number will be 50. Okay? Define constant with the five. Okay, PI, 3.14159. That means every time you're talking about PI, they know they will be equal to 3.14159. Statement. In C++ statement, control a sequence of execution, evaluate and expression. Or not nothing. Okay, that's a normal statement. On C plus plus statement and with semi column. You see that? This is a just a basic thing. You have to understand. So that's why when you compile your program, you get an error. And you're looking into the that line, you know what happened, what going on, and how to fix it. Okay. Why space? Why space? Tap space new line is generally ignored in the statement. Block and compile statement. Okay. Any place. You can put a single statement or compound statement, also called a block. A block begins with opening breath. Okay, that means you're opening the breath and you can do whatever inside. However, later on, you must be closed. Okay, if you open only do not close, you get error. Every statement in the block must be end with my column. You see that? That's a just syntax thing. If you're working in the software, you must know. Okay? It's present. Anything that evaluates to a value is an expression in C++. An expression is said to return. A value. All expressions are statement. You understand understand what that means? That means a statement must be end with a semicolon. Operator. An operator is a symbol that calls the compiler to take an action. Operators are used to manipulate data, like perform, calculation, or whatever. Okay? Assign, assignment operator. Assignment operator. That equal here. Caught the operand on the left side of the assignment operator 
you have this value, then do the value on the right side of assignment operator. I click on A plus B. That means A plus B, they will be stored in A, okay? Math, mathematical operator. If you want to add number, that is a op operator. You want subtract, that is a subtract. Multiply, division, modulus, that one. Increment and decrement. Increment operator plus plus. Increase the value of the value variable by one. For example, C plus plus, what that mean? That means C equal C plus one. Okay. When you get a plus plus, that means they will be increment by one. Decrement. Minus decrease the value of the variable by one. For example, C minus minus means C equal C minus one. Also, C plus equal one. That means the same thing. C equal C plus one. Okay. Or also C plus equal B. What that mean? That means C equal C plus B. Prefix and a part fix. Prefix integer A equal plus plus X. That means increment X, then you part fix. Integer A equal I plus plus. That means you using it, then you will be increment later. That's what they're talking about. Prefix and part fix. Preceded here. The order in which a program performs the operation in formula. If one operator has precedence over another operator, it is evaluated first. Operator precedent. Okay, that means which one will be executed first. Scope resolution, dot, 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 dot. Indirect member, okay? The error that they will be using in the uh, different part of the program. Direct membership, dot. Function call, open call. Port fit, blood, blood. Okay? And prefix minus minus multiply divide modular. This is a multiply divide and that a modular. Add subtraction. You want add plus minus subtraction. Logical and or not. A and B, you can use in that symbol here, okay? Or A or B, or uh, that will be not, okay? That means you get not A. Relational operator, equal, they have to be equal, equal. If X equal 10, okay? You cannot only using one equal. They must choose. Okay? That's for equal. If I equal 10, whatever you want to do. Not equal. Okay? This is for not equal. If I not equal 10. Reader then. This is a reader. 
Okay. If I greater than that, okay, or if equal, if I greater than or equal that, less than, I less than that, okay, and also you can get less than or equal in the direction operator. This star here. In the direct, okay, equal in direction operator, why? A threat operator. This is a threat operator, okay? So, when you get the, by the program you reading, you understand. However, the computer not understand. The computer only understand either one or zero. So they have to convert it, okay? To one or zero. Now, if you want to see exactly at the location in the computer, you can type in M percent, okay? Why? Then they can tell you what number in binary inside your computer. Logical operator. And get when you're learning on tech two, M percent, M percent here. Okay. One, okay, express one and expression two. All get this or all. Okay. Expression one or Expression two, not this is not get. So that's why when you learning on tech two, you will be learning basic get and get or get name get. Okay, uh, not get. <coughs> that's what they talking about here. Okay, for now you don't care about that. Library function. In activity in C++ carry by library function. This function perform file access math, mathematical computation, graphic memory management, and data conversion. For example, to calculate the square of a number, then first thing, you have to include that Library, math, they developed by the software already. So that's why when you say I want square of the number, okay, then you can type in F Q R T number three. They given you the number nine. That means square of three, three times three, that number nine. Okay. This function will be inside the math dot it. Okay. If statement, uh, if statement is you to test for condition and then execute section of code based on whether that condition is true or false. Now, the if statement, first for if condition is present, okay, what you want to do? Otherwise, do something, okay? That what you do something. For example, you drive it, and sometimes you don't know the direction. Direction you want it or not. So you can say if direction equal to the east. If you want it to go to the west. The west, that means you get 
drop. Okay, lock equal to. That means you get locked. Okay, that only one. For the fourth if statement, okay. The if statement at second form. If condition expression, you want to do something otherwise else, do something else. Now you can see the example. Is it direction equal is? It really is. That means you get lost. Otherwise, okay, you okay. Lost will be four. That means the you can see fourth statement for the if only single thing happen. The second if statement you get two things. If this correct what you're doing, otherwise what else you want to do? That's what they get up. If and help. Now, the if statement, third form, if condition. Number one, two, otherwise, L if condition two, two, or L if condition three, true. Otherwise, they will be failed. What that means? In the box, you get one more. Red. Another one. Yellow. The next one, green. Okay. I can give one more. Okay. Black. Four ball inside the box. The first one to take them out. For example, the first one to take that. You're looking for the black. Is it a black? However, come out to be a red. Okay. Then you have to do another one. Go to the next one. Take another one. Is it a black? Guarantee will be no. The thing is yellow. And take another one. Is it a black? No. Then you cannot do the same thing for the last one. The thing is you get four balls. Okay. Inside you get a one black. You say first one no. Next one no. Next one no. The last one must be black. So that's why you can see if condition one, L if two, L if three, otherwise L, they must be black. That is a given you a three type of if statement. One, a single one. Okay, that means if, okay, I equal it. Is it right or wrong? That's the one. Second one. You can get the if statement with the L. If we are going to the east, okay, right or wrong. If wrong, okay, then L, they have to be right. And the last one. Get too many if statement. You can get too many. One, two, three, or four, or five, or six, or seven. However, the last one must be L, not L if, not L if anymore. While loop, while loop cause your program to repeat a sequence of statement as long as the starting condition remain true. 
seem tight. Wow, on this uh, statement, you can see example here. Wow, I get them 10. Then you try to bring it out. I a I plot plot. That means I keep on I plot what. Okay. They keep doing until I let them tap. That for a while condition. Continue statement. Caught a while or for look to begin again at the top of the loop, okay? Break statement, caught the immediate end of a while or for a loop. For example, if you want to count a number from one to a hundred, then you can say five equal to one, and keep increment. However, if you want to stop it anytime, you can using the break statement. When they hit into the break statement, they get out. Okay. This is an example. Wow, condition. If condition one break, and now they get out of that one. The wrong first break and continue statement. Okay. Do wow. Look, is it possible that the body of the wow loop will never execute? The wow statement check its condition before executing any of its statement. Do well, do well, loop, execute the body of the loop before it condition it tested and ensure that the body always execute at least one time. Okay, example. First thing you say, integer x equal zero. It say do, see out. That means you want to bring it out. I equal I let let. Wow, I let then ten. Okay. That means if I still let than ten, they keep running, keep doing. For look for initialization, that action. For example, you want to going from I to number nine. You can say for integer I equal zero. If I left then 10, I plus plus, that means you increment I by one and keep doing for 10 times, okay? That for the for loop, this one you have to try understand. If you try to develop your program in the electronic here, you don't worry about that thing. The thing is, that program will be the same thing, okay? They not go into too much detail. You have to write. The Swiss statement allowed to bring to any of a number of a different value, okay? Swiss expression, okay, value one statement, break, value two statement, break, okay? And the last one will be default. That means you can see when you go into your ATM, they can get the enter one for deposit, two for the withdraw, three for the transfer, okay, or number four, quit, okay. That they using the 
Swiss. Number one, what to do? Number two, number three, okay? And so on. Okay, so basically how this one will be stopped here. Okay, I try to see Okay, something wrong, missing with the other one, okay? That one we already get to it. Same thing, okay. Oh, okay, that will be the cover in the function. We don't need that. Okay. Okay, so now I will be telling you. Okay. What we will be doing. So just a minute, okay. Okay, so now I have to everything in the desktop. Okay, see what we will be doing. First thing is you can see that is the common net meter amplifier. Okay, basically, they want to know the voltage DC in here or VE. Or uh, VC, or uh, IE, IB, IC, or V out. That means they want to get that value. Normally, you have to do by hand. That's the one way. The other thing, you can run the simulation. If the park in the simulation, then you can get the value. Okay, and now we will be doing a helping you. You can write the program. So you given the formula and you tell the computer do for you. Okay, that's just a sample. First thing they said, write the program to calculate the value a parameter for a bow circuit. Project name, file name, programmer, your name. Okay, that means they give it to you everything here. First thing they want you to calculate the VBB. Okay, so VBB, they given you the formula right here. You know that VBB on VCC, 
ทามอาจูดีไฟอาวันเลิศอาจูโอเค and what day was day one one point six nine five unit BDC okay so you will be okay you will be using the program to do it and now I can tell you let's see Okay, I can try to tell you in the program. Let's see, e calculation here. Okay, so this is the program. Now, I just go to the test number one. This is the one they wanted. Test number equal one. Okay, so basically, this is the one we'll be doing calculation. So first one, that number one, title, calculate voltage at VBB. The formula, you know, I just talking to you. Last last here just means the comments. Computer ignore whatever. After like double slap, single comment. Okay. That just gave me to the formula. VBB. Okay, equal VCC time R2, divide R1 plus R2. Expect value. Okay, 2.05. Unit, you want to VDC. And now you can calculate that. This is the formula. That formula right here. Okay, and calculate calculation value VBB, and then you take the calculation. At this, that will be done for the first calculation. Okay, 
basically on this program here, you just can what we need for the, the test. Now, the test number two, I want to calculate the eight meter voltage VE. And I, they already given you the formula. VE equal VBB minus VBE. And also the asking, they already telling you this is the value we want. Unit will be VDC. And now you can get the formula. VE equal VBB minus VBE. And that one and this line here, okay, you just change the V E here, same E here, okay? And done. And number three, we'll be doing the same thing. However, you know the IE could be E divided to IE. But the, the unit they one milliamp. Okay? So when you apply the formula, you have to pay attention. Okay? V E I equal V E divide R E. V E the voltage, R E ohm. Okay? For example, the voltage divide ohm, you coming out with the value in ampere. However, they want, I want you need to be milliamp. That means you have to know how to convert it. Okay? And keep doing it, copy, paste, and anything we need. And that will be it for, for example, that number 12. That one. After that, you can go to the bill. Okay. Make sure no comments, no error. Okay. In here, zero successful. Huh. You see that after the bill, you can get one such set. That means your program okay, no error. And now you want to execution. Start with down debugging. You see that after you've done your program, okay? When you run, if anything part, 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 that means you're done. If something going wrong, they will be failed, okay? That is you're done with your job. Okay, so now, last one, I want to tell you. You can do it hard, okay? If you want to start with the C++, 
right now I'm not talking about how you can install C++ in your computer at home. However, in the class, on each computer we get C++. Okay, you can see that icon right here. Double click on that. Okay, then now just select new project. That's the same for either take one or take two. Okay, make sure you get Win32 right here. Okay, and now you need to type in your project. I can say e calculation. Okay, then I have to know where I want to store this program. You can go to Browse. Okay, so you can put it store in anywhere. I can say in that, okay, folder, select folder. Okay, then okay. Now, next one, just click next. Okay, on that one, okay? Remove that one. And that one. Select empty project. Okay, then you finish. Okay, now, next step. Okay, right click on e-calculation. Project right click. You select it. New item. Okay, make sure you can get C++ file. And then you can type in here. Okay, name, e-calculation. Okay, you say air. This is ready for you to type in. in. However, before we start that one, try again one more time. Right click on e calculation project, go to property. Okay, you select common language and select the arrow here. Click on slot CLR. You apply, you say okay. So that's ready now. Okay, you understand a uh, in the handout here. In the handout, I already given to you e calculation. This file, okay. You double click, you see that? This is the program for your guy to exercise. Now, what you need to do is, you want to copy that into your C++. Okay. So, I think, Control A, right? Maybe. Okay, Control A. Select everything. Then right click, copy, okay? And now we go 
you did your project here, control V. Okay, so they copy into your program. What you need to do is try to build Remember, we don't care, never say, never say, or say yes, okay? When you build, they say everything. This is a project, get too many things else inside, okay? So, just build, they say everything. You see that? Build one subset here. That means you're okay. And now you can execution. Debug. Start with down. Debugging. That means you run the program. Okay? That is now. Everything we did it for you, okay? So you can exercise in the class. And now, if you want to install the C plot in the computer at home, tomorrow you can ask Mr. Thai, okay? He can help you out. So, Anything else you want to ask it? Nothing. Okay. Okay, so I will be stop here. Okay. So Make sure next week no class. You get one week off. Okay, so I wish all of you get a very good holiday. Okay, thank you. You have a good holiday too, everybody. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good night, Happy everyone. Take Happy care. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy. Take care. Okay, we'll see you after next week. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night.